can see that the cap of the lifter is a little tough to get off. This can be caused when the oil forms a seal with the cap and creates a little bit of a vacuum. There's nothing wrong with the lifter, but it is a sign that the oil may have pressurized out of the lifter in transit. The stand that the distributor is using is a great example of how to check the oil fill of the lifter and then maintain the vertical location of the part after filling. This will allow for more air to work out and more oil to get into the lifter. The tool they are using to press down on the lifter is not exactly what we would like. The challenge is that this tool goes into the center hole where some of the air should be able to escape. We do recommend softer metals such as aluminum or brass be used so there is no scratches or scar marks left on the lifter cup. Something made of tubing, as we show in the other videos, is a preferred method to allow air from the inside and outside to escape. What we can see in this video is how the air is released from the lifter in this pump-up process in order to prevent noisy lifters at startup. As we look at new lifters, we'll remove the caps as they come from the factory here. As we look here, we have a couple of lifters that need to be filled. We can tell that they need to be filled because as we press down, we get quite a bit of play with the tool. Again, making sure to use something such as aluminum or brass that will not cause any scoring or scars to the cup here. We add oil. We then press down with the tool and allow the air to make its way out while we press the oil in. We'll know that we have completed our process when with a simple tool like this we cannot move the lifter up and down easily. As you look to the center of this one we can see a small air bubble being developed. As we look at the lifter here we can see that it's been cut away. The top piece is where we're actually pressing down with the tool. As we press down on that, we can see it come off of the snap ring and press down onto the spring. This is the cavity that we are looking to fill with oil, which creates our hydraulic lifter. So as we press down, we try to allow the air to work its way out so that we can fill the lower cavity with oil. On this one we can see that the oil level has gone down as well as that we also have a bubble forming over to the side. When we feel that there is no ability to press down any further and no air bubbles left, we'll give it about 15 minutes. At that point we'll come back, try it one more time, make sure there's no more air remaining, and then install the lifters into the engine.